So I invite everybody for the session. Okay, so this time a few business questions. How many of you know the number of leads you get every day? Can you raise your hands? Oh, good, good. Their sources? Do you know where they're coming from? That's another one. Which industry makes most of your revenue? And this is a good one. So you know who is your best performer? How many of you know? Thank you. So I'm going to take you through reporting in CRM. So here's my agenda. Remember, I've, I've just started with some questions. So this was the question about the sources and the leads coming every day. And this is how we show it in Zoho CRM. So all you have to do is you have to capture the lead sources in your system and CRM does this report for you. Remember the question about the revenue over the industries? And this is how we show. The third one, the performance of your sales reps, this is how it is. Let's get started. I'm going to take you through a demo. These are all the three things that we are going to do. Create basic reports, how we can create reports. The second one is how we can create charts out of it. The third one is how we can add them on your home page. So this is the home screen. What I'll do is I'll just go to the reports tab. And this is what you see on the reports tab. So we have few basic predefined reports which we built for you. What we're going to do is we are going to create a new report. So I'm going to create a report which tells you potentials closing this month. So I create potential as the module and relevant related informations and that's how it gives. I'm going to create a basic report which is called the tabular report which gives you clear information about what are all the potentials you have for this month. I choose the relevant columns and then I want to aggregate with one of the columns. So remember I was just talking about closing this month. So what I'll do is just give a name. This is one important best practices that you can remember. You can just organize your reports on specific folders so that you just have a clear accessibility over it. I've just created a, a, a folder to make sure that it's all available there. Let's save it. And this is how it is. As you can see, the list of potentials and the relevant information. So I was just going through it. On the criteria part, I was just showing current month. So this is a variable. If you notice, this is a variable. Any time, after six months, I run through this report. It gives you the closing potentials of that month. So you can make use of these variables wherever you want so that it gives the information dynamically. This is another small information that I want to highlight. We have something called filter options there. Assume this is this is a, cl a potential close in this month. If you want to have the potential for this week, you need not run the report again. You need not create one more report out of it. Just go there and apply filter. That's it. So you have a basic report. You just apply the filters as you want and then get the information. So this is about the basic reporting. Remember, there were three types of reports. Let's jump on to the second one. OK. So that we call it a summary report. Let's take an example. We talked about potential closing this month. If you want to have that report based on owners, the sales reps, based on the potential owners, let's look into it. I create the potentials. So here we go. This is the most important part of this summary report. So I, I choose the columns to be grouped. So in our case, it's potential owner and the rest of the things all the same. And then I'll put the same folder. And as you can see, the list of potentials have been grouped based on the potential owners. Patricia Boyle has got five potentials closing this month and Hannah Smith has got four. So the same report has been grouped under different potential owners. 
that's summary report for you so this particular report is one dimensional so it is dimensional along the potential owners assume you want to have a report on another dimension as well say for example industry you want to have the report on the potential owners as well as the industries now we have two dimensions now how to create a report out of these two dimensions there comes the matrix what we will do is we will create potentials closing this month owned by the potential owners and grouped by the industry so I choose matrix this is the important place here so there are two dimensions for the matrix there we go so we have a report now which talks about two different dimensions so we are grouping two different parameters in a report in which one is owner potential owner another one is the industry so we started off with a particular task called create reports in which we tried three different reports tabular report and then the summary and then the matrix we have another task which is creating charts let's let's see how we can create charts out of these reports here we go again we provide some default dashboards so what we can do is we will create a chart for the reports that we have already created we created three reports right so we, we will try to create a chart for the potentials closing by this month based upon the owners so on your right hand side you have the add component button you just click on that now this is important so whatever the charts you create underneath there should be data into it there should be a report associated to it so I'll search for that so this was the report I was creating and I chose that and now these are a list of charts that you have and I choose vertical bar the potential bonus on your x-axis and I choose the sum of amount on your y-axis so this is the chart for you based on your owners so you can you can create vertical charts horizontal charts stacked charts it's your choice so we talked about how to create reports we talked about how to create charts now we'll talk about how we can add these two things on your home screen why do you want to add these two things on your home screen let me go to home screen so home screen is very important so the moment you log in this is the first screen you land on your home screen you need to get the most important and relevant information before you start your work you pick your chart and put it here so that it gives more information on your first site itself I'll try to add a component to this home page that gives some information for you I'll just click on the add component button or right over there so we talked about the chart so it's available in dashboards so then I'll just give a name and then so this was the chart I got I created Let's save it so there you go like this you can add charts reports this is how you can add components to your home page so that's what we have seen so far is that all we have for the reports there are few more things that you can add so I call these two things as sales metrics reports and sales follow-up reports what is sales metrics report you have a lead and it gets converted and the potentials been created and the potentials been followed up and the potential is getting closed so there are so many stages in your business isn't it we created few reports so that it just gives you the measurement of all these things for an example you can measure the lead conversion time by sources there are so many ways where you can get the leads but how do you measure them average sales cycle by industry so which industry gets closed so how do you measure them so once you measure them then you'll have the control over it so you can create reports on these parameters let's get on to a demo on which I can show you how the average sales cycles can be determined based on the industry again I go to reports it's all about the potentials so I'm going to create a report which tells you about the average sales cycle across your industries I create the summary report for this so I'll get on to this in the column of aggregation we have something called 
potential sales duration. So this is one of the columns that you have inside your potentials module. What I need is the average and criteria part I am just leaving as such. So I just want to get the potentials and their average across the industries. As you can see, for the banking industry, these are all the five different potentials that I have and average is 73 days. For the data and telecom, it's 20. So you can create these kind of reports which measures your sales metrics. What we talked about, second one, the sales follow-up reports. What does that mean? I've just quoted two examples. Accounts do not have any activities for a month and potentials closing this month but have no follow-ups. So these are all very basic stuffs. We might miss it in our business. Assume you have accounts. It means you have qualified the leads and made it into an account. And that account, it's not been touched for a month. It's just see how much potentials we are losing. So how do you measure them? These reports are very, very important. So I've just quoted two. So you can just have numerous reports like this. I'll take an example. Accounts do not have activities for a month. I was talking about accounts not being touched for a month. So it means I have to take account as the module. Now I just make sure I, it's a simple report. Pick up the relevant fields that you want. This is the field which is very important. Accounts lost activity time. We have this field inside the account which gives you when did the last activity happen. And I don't have any columns to be segregated. And the criteria part, I need to filter out the accounts which not been touched for a month. So what I'll do is I look for accounts last activity time field. There is another interesting criteria field which is called age in days. So last activity time, age in days greater than 30. Save it. Here we go. So this is how reports can add value to you. You can see owner's name and their industries and when did the last activity happen. We'll jump on to the scheduling of the reports. Why do we schedule reports? It's just that we email reports to you and your team. You just configure them. That's it. I just click the reports. You might have noticed report scheduler. You just click on that and you will see the list of scheduled reports available for your business. You create one for your need. Shall we schedule potential closing this month by owner? And from which date do you want to get the mails? Okay, so every Sunday or every morning, every Monday morning. At what frequency you want to get those reports? I just choose monthly. You know how to schedule it. You just pick the people you want them to see this report on their mail. That's it. As simple as that. So I just choose user. Not only the users inside the CRM, if you want to give this report to somebody else out of your CRM, you can configure them. So that's about scheduling the reports. I'll just quickly go through the best practices that we can adapt while creating the reports. You capture the necessary information inside the CRM, then reporting will do the magic. Pick your primary module. What type of report you want? Organize your reports and folders well, give proper access to which role, to which profiles, to which user you want to give this access to the data. Schedule the most important reports. Pick the charts and the reports you want to have it on your home dashboard screen. That's the basics about the reports in Zoho CRM.